This is a PSOC Creator tutorial for creating a Verilog implementation. In a separate tutorial, we created a schematic implementation for the component. There are also a series of tutorials for using the UDB editor. If you want more fine-grained control over the PSOC UDB, you can implement your component using Verilog. Note that if you create a Verilog implementation, any other implementations you have will be ignored. The easiest way to create a new Verilog file is to right-click on the symbol canvas and select Generate Verilog. On the dialog, as with any implementation, you could specify the architecture, family, and device, or leave it as generic to apply to all devices. Click Generate, and PSOC Creator generates a basic Verilog file based on the existing symbol terminals. It adds the file to the component and opens it in the code editor. You can edit the Verilog file as needed. PSOC Creator supports the Verilog 2005 specification. The generated Verilog file provides merge regions. These are areas of the file that will not be changed if you regenerate the file. We'll type some code in a merge region now and see later that it does not change. As shown previously, you can specify parameters for your symbol. There is a property that allows you to mark parameters to be included in the generated Verilog file. Create a new parameter and set the hardware property as true. Then, right-click on the canvas again and select Generate Verilog. Click Generate and then click OK to overwrite the existing file. The updated Verilog file includes the parameter marked as hardware and the merge region contains the exact code we typed earlier. You can continue developing your symbol and regenerating the Verilog file as many times as you need until it is complete. The next step in the component creation process is to create API files. That process will be covered in a separate tutorial. There are many aspects of Verilog that we did not cover in this tutorial. There is also the Advanced Data Path Configuration tool that offers more control of the UDB. For more information, refer to the PSOC Creator Component Author Guide. There is also the Warp Verilog Reference Guide that describes various aspects of Verilog code in PSOC Creator.